Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is Dick van Oeveren and in this video I will be demonstrating Radius and TACAX authentication on Comware 7 devices together with Aruba ClearPass. So the devices I'm talking about is um, a list of the following. It's the 5130 High, it's the 5510 series, the 5900 series and the 105 chassis based switches. So uh, let's get into the configuration. We'll start with Radius. So I've already configured my Conway 7 device and what I'll uh, do is I'll guide you through the config. Um, we'll start with the Radius scheme. So what I've created, I've created a Radius scheme called ClearPass and let me show you the configuration. So there's some uh, stuff in here uh, so the first two commands are actually mandatory. So we have the primary authentication that points to the ClearPass server and it's providing shared secret and the primary accounting also pointing to the ClearPass server. Um, I've enabled accounting and I have also enabled extended accounting on information so that ClearPass receives some more accounting information from the switch. Um, the username format without domain, so you can either log on with a domain name or without a domain name, so I'm not using a domain name in this example, um, so I have to provide the username format without domain option here, and I'm setting the NES IP address, which uh, is the IP address of the switch. The next step is the domain, uh, so let me show you the domain. I've created a domain called Radius and in this domain you actually, I mean it's very straightforward, you see three commands here for authentication, authorization and accounting. I'm setting the Radius scheme to ClearPass and it's for login, so it's for SSH or Telnet, login uh, and I have a backup to local. So if your ClearPass server is not responding, there is a fallback to local authentication. Okay, and let's check out the user interfaces. Um, so what we have is we have configured some VTYs, we have set the authentication mode to scheme. Um, and actually that's the only relevant parameter. There are some other parameters here whether, which are optional. I've set the idle timeout to zero which means that I have disabled the idle timeout so I'm always logged on to a switch. So there's no timeout value here. And then the final step for configuring is to enable the SSH server and to configure a public key create RSA and you can set a value up to 2048 and I'm setting 1k just the default value and that's it for Comware. Let's check out ClearPass. So in ClearPass I've done some stuff already so what I've done is I have created a couple of roles for Radius. I've created a Radius admin role and a Radius read only role and I have created a couple of users um, for Radius, which is RAD Admin and RAD in Read Only. So what you can see here is, is that I'm assigning RAD Admin to the Radius Admin role, and I am assigning the RAD Read Only to the Radius Read Only role. And then I create a role mapping for Radius uh, called Radius Roles, and I'm assigning those uh, role mappings to uh, to a local user repository here and assigning the role names here. Okay, so profiles. Um, so for Comware 7 I have created two profiles, one for read only and one for admin. So what you can uh, see here is the profile attribute um, which is important. So what I have here for the read-only uh, login is I'm using the Cisco AV pair VSA and I'm uh, using this value here. Now what you can see is that I am using a predefined role here which is uh, level 1 
And this level one role is defined on the switch. So let me show you and the configuration. What you can see here, you, you can see the role names, uh, role name level zero, which is a predefined level zero role and level one. So level one would be read only, uh, a, a read only. And I go up to level 14. And um, so that's, that's the, the roles that you have. So when the user logs in, this VSA is pushed to the switch and the switch will understand that this user is at level one. And let me show you the other one, the admin one, because there are two ways of uh, entering this AV pair. So, uh, so what you can see here is I'm using a different uh, role name. So this is a predefined uh, role. Uh, which is called network admin and there's another predefined role called network operator so that's the profile and what I'm going to do now is the uh, profiles and let me just show the radius uh, policy here I'm assigning those uh, profiles to a policy so what you have here is I have the role mappings here uh, radius admin and radius read only and I'm applying those profiles to those roles and then uh, the third step is to create a service and uh, there's a service called radius commerce 7 here um, so what I can do here is um, I'm you know I'm classifying the uh, uh, the service here so that my Conware device, which has a NAS identifier Conware 7, uh, hits this service. Okay, so um, the service is uh, a radius service, obviously. Um, I'm authenticating against the local user repository and I'm using PAP as authentication method. Um, and I have assigned the radius roles here to this service and then you can see the enforcement uh, policy that, that I'm using and that's and that's basically it for the uh, for the clear parts so let's put it to the test let's start a SSH session to the switch and let me just log in as read only first there you go I'm in so what I can do now is I can do display users and you can see that I'm logged in as read read only on VTY0 and let me see if I can do some other stuff if I do question mark you can see that my list of commands that I have is very very limited so let me exit here and let me show you the access tracker here you can see that I have logged in as radius read only role here and my output is the shell roles level one. Now let's log on as admin, radius admin and with a password and I'm logged in as admin can see a red admin here and you can see that I have all the commands available that I ha can use here so again let's check out the access tracker logged in as res admin and my output response is the roles network admin So that is all working. So let's move to TACAX. So for TACAX, I have created a scheme like we do for Radius. And let me show you the scheme. Uh, scheme clear pass. And you can see that the configuration is very similar. Uh, I'm setting the primary authentication, authorization, and accounting. So I can set authorization here as well 
because I can also do uh, role-based uh, access control. So, uh, so that's restricting specific commands. Um, and I'm setting the shared key and I am doing the username format without domain as the same as in radius. And I have also created a domain. Uh, Cux. And you can see that this domain is exactly the same as the domain that I've created for radius. Okay, so the only other thing I have to do now is because now the switch is using the radius domain uh, to log in. So I'm going to change that to the uh, TACX domain. So domain default enable TACX. And now the switch is using the TACX domain. And that's it for the for the switch. Uh, let's move to ClearPass. The configuration flow in ClearPass is very very similar to configuring a radius. So let me just show you the uh, roles first. So actually, uh, what we have we already have uh, role mappings for uh, for TACX. So let me just show you the TACX. So you can see here is we already have TACX network admin and TACX read only admin roles here. So what I'm uh, doing is I'm using these roles um, for the local users that I've created for TAC admin and TAC read only. So you can see that TAC admin is a member of the TACX network admin role and the read only is a TACX read only admin. So um, the profiles, uh, let me just show you the profiles for TACX. Uh, so that would be TechX Comware 7 admin and TechX Comware 7 read only. Let me just show you the read only first. Um, it is a uh, it is a, a TechX profile. So you have to select it as oh, so. If you create a profile, you have to select the TechX type, and I you have to assign a service service to it. So which is uh, the privilege level. And you select the shell service. And now what you do is in the shell service you add a authorized attribute status, right? You set it to add, and then you add the privilege level command here. So privilege level one. Okay. And then uh, optionally, if you want to do uh, role-based access, uh, what you can do is you can add commands here that allow you or deny access. So I've created a, a video for uh, Comware 5 uh, devices with Radius and TACX that shows you this role-based access. So I'm, I'm not going to uh, go in uh, into the uh, RBAC functionality here. So please refer to the, uh, to the other video if you want to see more about the RBAC functionality. So that's the read-only. And I've got the admin here, which, and I'm going to show you the services again. So what you can see here is instead of a privilege level, I'm using the value roles here, uh, network admin. So this is what we are admin. So you just quickly go back to the read only, show you that service here. So uh, if you want to assign a number, you know, a level number, you use the privilege level uh, name. If you want to assign a uh, a name, you use the roles name. Okay. So um, the policies, and uh, let's check out the TACX one. TACX Commerce Seven. It's very similar to what we did with Radius. Is uh, assigning the profiles to the policy here so your role equals TechX network admin so if your local user is a member of the TechX admin uh, role then you enforce the uh, 
attack x converse 7 profile and same for read only you uh, apply the converse 7 read only profile okay so services uh, we've got the tech x converse 7 service here um, again you can do some um, service classification here all right so and then it uh, oh yeah so the service is a tech x plus enforcement service all right so if you create one you have to set it to the tech x plus enforcement uh, again using the local user repository um, I'm not assigning any role mappings because I'm already using the predefined TechX roles and I'm uh, enforcing the TechX Commerce 7 policy. And that's it. So let's put it to the test. So let's log in as uh, read only first. Okay, and let me do a display users can see that I've logged on as tag read only on VTY0 and let's check out the access tracker you can see that the service um, the uh, tag x comware 7 service is being applied here and I am assigning the tech x commerce 7 read only okay and let's log in as admin okay here we go tech admin logged in as admin now you can do display users you can see I'm a tech admin and as admin I obviously have all the commands available okay let's check the access tracker you can see that I've logged in as admin and the service tech x commerce 7 is being used here and I am pushing the tech x commerce 7 admin profile so that is all working so thanks very much for watching this video and if you like this one uh, please hit the like button if you have any feedback uh, you're very welcome to put it in the feedback uh, fields below and i wish you a great day bye bye